Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you how to style cowboy boots. I'm really excited because I think they're really, really cute. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I feel like everybody probably has this in their closet of some sort, but I'm styling it with a black, little black dress. Uh, mine comes with sleeves. I preferably prefer, preferably, I prefer one with like maybe like a sleeveless because you are gonna layer with a black leather blazer. So it's gonna look something like this. Hold on. Like this. It's very cute and, um, can I overlap this? It's very, very chic, so to say. So I'm gonna layer it with the, with the jacket and then I'm going to wear these white knee-high cowboy boots. So I love that the black and white are gonna be contrasting each other. Uh, and yeah, because I really wanna highlight the boots, you know what I mean? So let's get into it. Okay, I surprised myself and I love that I just threw on some basics, but look at this. Black dress, right? And then cute little leather blazer from Shein because you know how it is leather is really expensive but look at the contrast I fell in love with this outfit so it took me a while to film this part but oh my god all right let's look at this hold on can you see my whole outfit look at the contrast I I love that I got white cowboy boots because it's literally mm, just so easy to match and I think anyone has a black uh, little dress. If you don't have a blazer, you can always swap it out for just a regular uh, oversized blazer too. But I like that there's a little contrast and the leather makes it so much like a cool girl vibe, which is what I'm going for. But I love that I the cowboy boots is such a different vibe. You know, like, oh, look at this. It looks too good. And this is like, it fits for all kinds of weather too, you know what I mean? Spring, summer, I mean, anything. Maybe without the jacket, but I think the jacket just gives it a little like cool factor. So there's leather, then there's cowboy going on, western look, so with a, just a simple black little dress. So I'm really pleased with this look. Okay, so my next fit is a change up on the classic. So I'm gonna style it with with a oversized white buttoned up uh, shirt, white buttoned up overshirt. Then underneath it, I'm going to have a little peekaboo moment with my black bralette. So it's gonna just do a little pop up right there. And then the cute little white knee high cowboy boots. I think this will be a fun little brunch moment, so let's get into it. Okay, is it just me or is it giving Mr. and Mrs. Smith vibes with just like cowboy boots? But I love that I uh, paired it with a lace bralette to give it a little bit more like sexiness. Um, if you don't want to, you can always just cover it up and just wear it as is like this. But I think this gives it a little bit like a little different than the usual bund up dress look type of look. So I think adding the bralette gives it a little bit more of a sexy factor. Um, yeah, I would also suggest if you have small boobs like me, put like dressing tape so that it sticks out like this, you know? Unless you have big boobs and you really don't have to worry about that either. But yeah, I do like this. It's very, it's an interesting look. It's just like a little elevated look to the regular buttoned up shirt and like with just like knee high cowboy boots or like knee high boots usually people wear. But yeah, I think it's a cool fit and I'm kind of digging it. It's not my usual look, but I'm kind of digging it. So it's, it's pretty neat, yeah. Okay, so my next fit I think is like so cute, but let's get into it. So I'm styling this pink silk dress slash nightgown, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to pair it with this cute pearl uh, Vivian Westwood necklace. And then I'm going to pair it with these. So cute. They're so, they're like totally a lot of, totally 
different than what I usually wear. But I really like, I really like that it's pink and it has a lot of bling. This is not my usual style, but I figured let's just style this and see how it goes. Plus it's pink and I normally don't have pink color shoes like this. So this will be very interesting. Okay, so I uh, swapped out the shoes just because the pink boots were too pink and they were not coordinating with the whole fit. So I just swapped it back to my regular white cowboy boots, but here's the look. It looks so good. I love it. Look how cute this is. It's like an interesting Western look. Oh my God, I don't know. I really like that I styled it with the pearl to match with the boots and the little like crystal and the silky nightgown dress is so feminine looking like it's so cool it's just very it's a very interesting look i like it and it's not too much i feel like so i really enjoy this look a lot but yeah because the like look if i show you the pink boots they're too pink and then the rhinestone is like going on and I didn't like that these were browns. I feel like it was just too much of a contrast and just too much going on with this boot that I was like, hmm. Maybe if this was like, I don't know, black, then I would have swapped this with a black dress sort of thing. But I was like, hmm. So that's why I, like, look at it. Look at it. Like, this is already supposed to be the main the main hoe type of thing, but this is also a main look, you know? So it's just, it's too much. So I want to keep this pretty simple and then like maybe highlight the boots, but yeah. So that's why I swapped out of these and just went with these. <laughs> oh, I also want to mention that maybe putting your hair in like a cool little bun, right? With your like bangs hanging out. I think it would be really cute just to like, oh, and then maybe like those rectangle sunglasses. I lost mine, so I gotta find them somewhere. But that's just very cool girl vibes, and I think that would be really cool with this whole look. So yeah, so just some other ideas to help elevate this look. But yeah, I really like it, and it's really cool. So yeah, I just always wanna highlight the boots. But yeah, uh, Okay, so my next fit is like a little country club vibes. So I'm styling it with a little oversized polo shirt. And then I'm gonna pair it with a mini skirt. If you have a high-waisted one, that's probably even better. Just so we're gonna be tucking in the polo shirt into the skirt. And then I will be styling it with these. Oh, my little OG, these have gone through a lot. So my... Uh, Brown cowboy boots, they're the standard basic type of cowboy boots you could probably find if you're not too adventurous with other colors or anything like that, but a good solid brown cowboy boots is the way to go. I'll show you how I'm gonna style mine. Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, my brown boots, they literally broke right before this segment. So I'm just swapping back to my white cowboy boots. So let me just show you. But they're still cute nonetheless. But I did want to show you that the brown ones were up to here and they're really cute. But literally everything broke off the sole, the, the leather, it was on its last leg. And that's also an important note that you should invest in really good pair of shoes because cheap stuff are going to peel and they're going to pile and they're going to just break after like sitting in your closet for so many years. So yeah, that's just my little rant. But nonetheless... It's still a cute vibe, still the cutes, but uh, yeah, I like this fit. It's like country club, you know, with a hit of little country. <laughs> okay, so my last fit is the most Western look that I could possibly create, so let's get into it. So my base is going to be a pink crop top. Then I'm going to pair it with these high-waisted denim jeans, shorts. Uh, and then 
I'm going to actually layer this and then probably roll up the sleeves like a three quarter sleeve. And then if it works, these Western belt that was like really trendy like years ago, but I still have it. So I think that would probably work out. And the same white boots. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite fits. Like, I'm kind of surprised, but let's look into it. Okay, so the Western belt is kind of cool. It definitely helps with the aesthetic of the white cowboy boots. I like the, uh, it's not Chardonnay, chambray chambray shirt not like the denim shorts so it's a little contrast in the blue so it's not like exactly matching but i love the vibes this is definitely a very casual western look uh, i'm kind of surprised by this look to be honest because i didn't think i was gonna pull this off my allergy but yeah i feel like the top is giving like parent trap vibes but then down in the waist, oh my god, and down the waist, it's like fashionable, you know what I mean? But I like that I pulled back this old trend. So these uh, Western belts used to be trending like back in the Coachella days of like 2016, 2018, that kind of stuff. So I'm glad I still kept these. They're like really interesting. They make the look a little bit more interesting with the cowboy boots, but it definitely helps with the aesthetic, you know what I mean? But it's kind of cool. I like it a lot. Yo, what? Yeah, this is this is a cool fit. I really like this. It can go by itself, but I like that I layered it with this, so it definitely gives a more casual vibe. And yeah. I remember in Texas or that kind of thing, I'd be wearing this. But yeah. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below which one's your favorite. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.